Hey guys, so I'm back with my computer and today we are going to learn about another interesting topic which is paddings and margins. So we are not going to learn about margins but we are going to learn about paddings. So what paddings are and how do they work in Tkinter. So now let me uh, simply <coughs> explain it, it to you the, what the concept actually means. So the padding actually means the spaces which are around a widget. So you may have a widget where you have all those spacings uh, from the left and right side and from the top and bottom side. So those are called as uh, paddings. So you can give paddings in two basically ways, which uh, first way is Y axis and second is X axis. So you can give your padding in these two axis. Then we are going to learn about the, uh, this padding concept today. So simply open your PyCharm. Here I have this code from my previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, then you can find the link of this uh, specific video in the i button now. And if you haven't accessed my Python programming playlist, then you can find the link of that playlist in the uh, description below. So with that said, now let us continue with this video. So here, as you can see, we have these two labels. The first label itself says first text and the second label says second text. So we do have these two labels. So now let me show you the output of this program. So here, as you can see, we have these two texts which are automatically rendered, which are packed and which are placed automatically. But now I would like to give some padding in the X axis so that this first text should be a bit more on the bottom side and this second text uh, and first text, these two texts or these two labels should have spacing between them in Y axis. So let me now close this and let me show you how to add the, those paddings. So here we have pad X, which I will set equal to 15, let's say, and we have pad Y, where I will set this pad Y to let's say uh, 10. So now we have pad X and pad Y. So we can provide the padding in such ways. Now let me save it and let me run it again. So here, as you can see, now we have those spaces. Now, if I will add the same space here as well. So currently we don't have any item or any widget near this uh, label, near our uh, first label. And that's why we are not seeing any spaces from here and here because we don't have uh, uh, our widgets aligned horizontally. We have those aligned vertically. And as you can see, we have first text, then we have this space and there or padding. And then we have this second text. Now, if I will increase the padding by 100, let's say, then let me close it and now let me run it. So now you will see that we have a lot of space in between these two widgets. So just like that, we can add our padding to our uh, basic our uh, to our basic labels and our text buttons or any other widget that you like. So now let me do the same with buttons. So how we can create a button? For that, we will use our button. And here I will pack it in this root. I will basically not pack it. I will render it in my root. I will have a text like click me. Then that's it. And now here uh, you will wonder about these labels that why I have packed them like this. So this is the easier approach which you can use. And the another approach is just like this, which I showed you in my previous videos. So this is another approach. So you store it in a variable and then you use that variable name dot pack. So this syntax is uh, perfectly equal to this. So here we are directly packing this and here we are storing it in a variable first and then we are packing it. So we can use uh, any syntax that you like. You can use any syntax that you like. I'm comfortable with this one and that's why I will go with this. I will pack it and now I will save it. So now you will see a button which will be here. So as you can see, we have this button which also have this padding and all those uh, basic uh, methods or properties. So just like that, we can add padding to our widgets and we can add padding in X and Y axis. So that's all for today, guys. And thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.